Hello again. Welcome back to Ruthven Park. So as you may have probably heard, this coming weekend is Easter. And as with all holidays, Easter has a lot of different symbols. But probably the most popular symbol is the bunny rabbit. So today on this edition of Fun Fact Friday, I'd like to share with you a little bit more information about the bunny rabbits of Ruthven Park. More specifically, the Eastern Cottontail. So without further ado, let's go. The Eastern Cottontail is a very common mammal that you will likely be seeing a lot of this spring given their rapid reproduction rate. They're fairly recognizable given that they often live around human settlements for protection from their predators. The Eastern Cottontail is a small mammal reaching a maximum size of 49 centimeters in length, which is just about 1.5 feet. They're uniform in color and do not change their coat for the winter. And they range from a rusty brown to gray color and have dark tips of the hair making them mottled. When it comes to the habitat of these creatures, they really are opportunistic, meaning that they can survive in many areas. Though the preference is to live near farm fields, they succeed in woodlands, grasslands, and even front or backyards near houses. As I mentioned before, they live near humans for protection. Like many other mammals, the Eastern Cottontail diet varies depending on the season. In the spring or summer, they forage for flowers and grasses. I remember a bunny that used to live in my neighborhood when I was growing up that would eat my mom's tulips every year. In the winter, their diet switches to berries, bark, and many other hardy plants that grow through the harsh conditions. Now, although Eastern Cottontails are cute, they are quite vulnerable to larger predators. This means that they often run to hide or stand statue-like until the predator looks away, giving them time to make a break for it. So as we quickly approach another spring season, be sure to keep an eye out for some evidence that Eastern Cottontails like to leave behind. They like to leave round pellet scat, they may leave some tracks in the mud, and they like to nibble on the plants in your garden too, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching this edition of Fun Fact Friday, and be sure to keep an eye out for the next edition, where I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.